Hey everyone and welcome to the individual customization and review video series. In these videos, we'll be taking a look at all of the unreleased vehicles from this Kyo Perico Heist DLC. We'll be going in depth into the customizations, the top speed test and overall review of these vehicles. We have got a few of them, about 10 of them that are unreleased. So yeah, without wasting any more time, let's get on to the video. Coming to the first one, it is the Grotti Italy RSX and this car is based off of the Ferrari SF90 Stradale. I mean, just from the initial looks of it, you guys can make out. And here is a comparison to the real life one. I mean, literally every aspect of the car is like the real life one, guys. The front end, the lights, even the damn wheels are of the real life one. You can make out the similarities. It's just that it has got like six spokes instead of the five spokes. But nonetheless, even the side profile, the big air vent in the side, the rail section, the entire tail end, guys. Just take a look at this. Even the engine bay, the small rear window, the exhaust placements, the tail lights. But you can make out from the design elements, right? So this thing is priced at $3.5 million, guys. That is one of the costliest cars in the sport segment. Yes, this is coming in the sport segment and not in the supercar segment. So this is going to be the costliest sports car guys, but it is also available for a trade price of $2.6 million and it is actually tied up to the early access mission that we get in GTA Online. I've actually made a small video covering the entire thing. You guys can check it out. You can actually drive this thing around in GTA Online even before it is released actually. This is a drip field vehicle, but you guys can get an early access to this thing. So definitely take a look into that video and try it out for yourself in GTA Online. And also, yes, this car comes with an auto spoiler in the back. Not the exact same way, but it, it functions the similar way. And moving on to the customizations, well, since the lower segment as well as the wheels are paintable, we'll check out the secondary paint. And as you guys can see, the secondary paint actually changes the paint on the wheels as well as the front splitter and also the side ones. So if you guys like the stock wheels and wanted to paint it, this is how you're going to be doing it. For the primary paint, well yellow looks good but I think I'll be going with red for this. You know just like the real life one, red looks really good on this car. So I'll be going with that. For the secondary one, I actually don't like white. So I think I'll be going with black. Yeah I think we'll also check out the custom wheels on this. You know how, it, how it's going to look on this. The stock wheels other than that is not paintable as you can see here. And for the interior paints, well, actually, we can paint the interiors, guys. So if you are interested with that, paint them, guys. Now, moving on to the customizations, we have got spoilers. I mean, guys, this is probably the first car which has auto spoiler and also spoiler customization options. Take a look at this. There's like quite a lot of upgrade options here. So really liking this thing. And for the custom spoiler options, well, I actually like this ducktail one. You know, it kind of looks sleek. The auto spoiler could have been a little more wider, but this is what we get. We also have the body ducktail. With the body ducktail, the auto spoiler will not work. The bunny wing or the shorter or the smaller ducktail wing, with those, the spoiler will work, but not with the ones that actually take up the whole rear tail section. So with these aero wing, the rear spoiler, the rear auto spoiler will work, but like this championship wing, the rear spoiler will not be working guys so keep that in mind if you want the auto spoiler to work you got to choose the ones that that don't interrupt the auto spoiler action work as you can see here the bunny wing works the body ducktail one this doesn't work you know it kind of all makes sense so decide which ones you want based on your likings just showing all the possibilities here the ducktail one actually looks good you know you know it's more like sleek but I also like the bunny wing spoiler. The reason is that when the auto spoiler is lifted up, it kind of looks like a complete ducktail spoiler. So yeah, for that reason, I kind of like this one. But I think I'll stick to the ducktail one, you know, just for a short time until I complete all the customizations here. Next, we have the front splitters. So just like the painted version of the stock one. And also there's like a longer one that is the super splitter. It's the same thing, but you know, just a little longer. I'll probably be sticking to the stock one in the carbon version. Next we have the rear bumpers. Okay, so there's like 
more options for the rear bumpers compared to the front ones that's weird but nonetheless we have got like few good options here we'll just be fast forwarding them without wasting much time here we have got you know quite good ones here and yeah, there's also the diffuser kit this will be for the race build if you are interested with that i'll probably be sticking to the wing diffuser just kind of resembling to the front splitter so yeah it kind of adds up to that i'll be getting the carbon version as usual next we also have the side skirts and uh, yeah the usual ones at the beginning and also we got the skirt fins these really look good and it also adds up to the front and the rear spoiler so we'll be getting this as usual we also have got the super version i'm not digging it if you guys are gonna be building like a race version that is the track version then it is gonna suit the car but for this build i'll be going with the carbon one next we have the exhaust system we have like oh we have got the quad exhaust my god the expansive exhaust oh we have got the triple board exhaust you know these are just like the ferrari 458 italia exhaust now even that car has triple exhaust pipes so that is kind of good looking as well but for this build we are doing the sf90 so even that actually looks good but i think i'll stick to the stock looking one in that i'll probably go with the chrome exhaust yeah i think this looks much better for this and then we also have a uh, tail fin options here the stock one looks not that good but we have the aftermarket tail fin and this looks much better you know more sleek to the design so i'll be going with this one and for the next one we have the rear panels so this thing changes the surrounding sections of the engine bay and yeah we have got like few options here the best one of them being the slipstream panel i kind of like this because of its uh, sleeker looking design which suits the car so yeah the carbon one also does look good but i'll just stick to the primary painted one as we'll be getting the roof blacked out so we'll stick to the primary next we have the front hoods we have quite a few options here yeah the striped hood looks you know so much like the real life one yeah we have got different other options as well but the striped hood is what we'll be choosing for this yeah these other options are also good the triple intake hood is also good kind of like that as well but like i said we'll be sticking to the striped hood for this build and then we have the mirrors we have like just two options we have the secondary mirrors we have the carbon mirrors as we'll be getting the roof blacked out i think i'll stick to the primary painted mirrors for this next we have the roof like i said we'll be getting a blacked out one because the dual tone cast looks so much better than the single paint ones you know the roof blacked out they look so good guys and we have got like three options in these roofs itself you know different designs but it's entirely personal preferences so i'll be sticking to the stock one but in that we'll be getting the carbon roof and i think the tail fin looks a bit hard so i'll be getting that in black as well and then moving on we have the library options we have the tricolor this is the grotty tricolor kind of looks good we also have the grotty stripes as well oh my god look at this streamline one holy smokes this is just like the real life version guys oh my god rockstar has pulled it off with this car it looks so good with this thing i mean just like the real life one i'm not a huge fan of it but you know in terms of resemblance to the real life version that thing is so good we have got few other options as well the pinstripe one actually looks good on this thing and we also have got the racing libraries as well as the camo one this looks somewhat new we have got the monochrome as well oh my god this looks so good you know on the one side it is white and on the other it's like black so this looks really good the pinstripe and also the streamline ones are really good uh, are also really good guys but you know just for the sake of this build and also i personally like you know clean looking cars so for this particular build i'll be sticking to the stock one the car looks so much good in this stock library and as usual blacked out windows and for the wheels that i wanted to check out we'll be getting the street version the concave not exactly the concave the hyperfresh yeah this one uh, it actually looks good but honestly i think the stock wheels you know they look much better on this car and also if you take a closer look the width of the tires the low profile nas the stock profile is much better than the custom wheels yeah as you guys can make out 
the stock wheels actually looks better than the custom wheels so we have to change the stock wheels color black doesn't look good at all so we'll go with um yeah this looks good but chrome would look good but we don't have the option to get the chrome here so i think i'll go with the metals option the brushed steel is also good but the brushed aluminium yeah this looks so much better but the only disappointment is that the side part that is above the skirt and below the doors even that gets painted sadly we don't have the option to remove that guys that's the only drawback here but nonetheless this car is looking so good and yeah let's go check out the top speed of this vehicle guys and here we are and yes i also got those custom spoilers which we actually forgot right there the car looks absolutely stunning i love this thing so going to the top speed test this is going to be a completely stock car in terms of performance we have not got any of those engine upgrades the transmission or the turbo upgrades this is a completely stock car and we already have crossed 100 miles per hour we are at 108 110 miles per hour so 110 miles per hour is the stock top speed of this vehicle guys kind of decent but for the price point it could have been you know a little bit better nonetheless let's get the performance upgrades the engine the transmission and the turbo upgrades and here we go completely upgraded the initial acceleration is really increased guys already up at 90 100 miles per hour crossed 110 miles per hour 117 120 miles per hour 120 and 120 miles per hour is the top speed of this vehicle guys i mean it could have been better because this thing cost like 3.5 million dollars so a little higher would have been better but that is what we get with this car so there you have it guys that is the top speed test all of the customization this vehicle is going to be offering us and my review of this to sum up everything this is really a great highly detailed and a gorgeous car with also equally great handling performance and speed so there you have it guys the grotti itali rsx let me know your thoughts down in the comments and make sure to stay tuned as up next we'll be taking a look at the mammoth squaddy which is the hummer h1 in real life so do drop the video like and also subscribe if you're new to the channel guys thank you all and have a good day